What is up guys, Crypto Dunker here. Welcome to another video. So today I decided to put something really special together for you guys. I have been getting a lot of questions from people of all sorts of different walks of life, honestly, about EOS. And they range from people who have never heard of EOS, who have no idea what it is and just randomly stumbled upon my video. Or, you know, maybe they know what it is, but they want to introduce it to their friends or family members who have are, you know, completely clueless about blockchain blockchain and know nothing all the way to people who are like high level high end developers who are experts and they're looking to actually start their own dap or build their own company on EOS so i decided to put together this video for you guys to explain EOS to you from beginner to expert we're going to do this in three sections three levels beginner intermediate and expert so again you know as i said whether you're someone who just stumbled upon this video randomly and you're completely clueless as to what EOS is all the way to you know if you're a high level developer looking to build your own massive adoption killer dap on EOS this video is for you you'll learn something so stick around all right so let's start with the beginners and before we talk about what EOS is, let's first talk about what it is not, all right? So it is not the Canon camera, and it is also not the EOS lip balm. I know I know this sounds silly to those of you who are regulars on my channel, but you won't believe how many comments I get from people, you know, when I tell them I make videos about EOS. Oh, so you talk about cameras, you talk about lip balm, are you a makeup tutorial channel? What? No, 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 guys. This is not EOS, at least not the EOS we're talking about, not EOS IO. So what is EOS or specifically EOS IO? Well, here is what you need to know if you're a beginner, if you're a complete beginner, that is, and you, I, I'm operating off the assumption that you don't even know what a blockchain is, all right? Okay, so you could think of it like Bitcoin, all right? So I'm assuming you know at least a little bit about or you've heard of Bitcoin. So like Bitcoin, it, you can think of it as internet money, as sort of a digital cash where you could just transfer money to anyone across the world for zero cost, literally zero cost. Um, that's the first thing you need to understand about uh, EOS, all right? It's similar to Bitcoin in the sense that it's an internet money. It's a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency. However, the second and more important thing you need to know is that it's decentralized, all right? And what that means is there's no group or party, for example, a government, a bank, or a corporation that controls it, right? It's just completely done by the people, and we'll get into that more uh, in the intermediate section, but that's the important thing you need to know. It's decentralized, free from centralized control from any one entity. Unlike Bitcoin, however, it is also a protocol platform, meaning it also can host decentralized apps, which we call dApps, all right? That's an important word to remember if you're a beginner. You'll hear that term used all the time throughout this video and throughout the EOS community. Decentralized applications, we call them dApps. EOS is a protocol platform that can host it. And dApps can be anything. You know, it can be anything from social media to games to whatever, you know, you see on the iOS app store, there is a decentralized version of that as well. And it is, in my opinion, possibly the most revolutionary technology we've seen since the internet. And I know this sounds like an exaggeration, but trust me, by the end of this video, I'm not clickbaiting you. You'll see exactly what I mean. All right, so you may be asking now though, why should I care, right? I mean, my why do I care about some internet money? I have my own money, I have PayPal, I can send money to people, you know? I have my Facebook, my games, I don't need a decentralized one. Why do I care about this? Why should I care? Well, this is why you should care. So there are both practical reasons, you know, reasons that will make your life easier and moral reasons that you should care. Let's start with the practical ones. So the practical reasons goes as follows. Decentralization means removal of middleman, and that saves us a lot of resources. So <coughs> think back to any time you used MoneyGram or Western Union or any other money transfer service to send money to your friends across the world. How much did it cost? You know, how much were all the fees with all of those, right? Maybe not so much, but, you know, it adds up to a lot over time. And so, and it, especially with microtransactions, right? This also makes it so, you know, let's say you just want to send your friend like $5, right? <clears throat> or $1. You know, you can't do that with money, Graham, with Western Union because the fees would be more than what you send. But with EOS, 
there are no middlemen, there are no fees, so all the money that would have gone to Western Union or to MoneyGram, you get to keep that in your own pocket. Now, this doesn't just apply to money though. This applies to all decentralized apps, <clears throat> which because of the lack of fees, because we're cutting out the middleman, this is going to open the doors to many potential careers that were previously impossible or at least incredibly difficult to attain. And this ties into my third point, which is that everything from games to social media will be monetizable. So this especially applies to those of you who are writers, for example, or artists or, you know, entertainers, creators. It has always been really, really hard to monetize our content because it's just, you know, on social media, you know, Facebook wants to take all our money, right? We, we make a lot of money for Facebook, for YouTube, but they take a lot of the revenue, right? Uh, so, you know, this, you know, just think that Facebook is a multi-billion dollar company and it's free to use. Where are they getting the billions of dollars from? Well, it's from their advertisers who are, you know, basically they're piggybacking off their content creators and not sharing, you know, the a single dime with the content creators. Well, that's not going to be the case with decentralized social media anymore. Uh, Dan Larimer, uh, by the way, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. You also have to know who Dan Larimer is. He was the creator of EOS. He also created Steemit, which is another decentralized social media platform, which made it possible for writers to get paid in cryptocurrency for their content. And it made it really easy. It was absolutely a great idea because uh, it made it so people could just directly donate money through cryptocurrencies to articles they like. So if you're an artist, if you're a writer, you should absolutely care about this because now all the hard work you put in, you know, if you're somebody who wrote a very lengthy philosophical blog post on Facebook that got a ton of likes, but you know, it amounted to nothing because you didn't make anything from it, couldn't make a career out of it. Well, that's about to change once decentralized apps and decentralized social media and EOS get up and running. Let's now talk about the moral reasons though. In my opinion, these are more important and this is something I'm personally very passionate about and the main reason I would say I got into cryptocurrency and into EOS. So here are the moral reasons you should care about this. Number one, it's gonna allow us to break free from the control of banks, governments, and corrupt corporations, right? We've seen this all the time. The banks and the governments constantly tamper and mess up our economy, our money supply. Things are always getting more expensive. Our money's always becoming more and more worthless. And this is a problem. This is a big, big problem. And once, and I believe one of the problems is that the power is concentrated too much in one centralized entity. You know, I, I, there should never be one single entity that can control the money for billions of people. And unfortunately, that's what we have going on. So by having a currency that's decentralized and free from the control of the state and from corporations, this is going to be huge. Decentralized social media will also be free from the rampant political bias and censorship we are currently seeing on centralized social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, etc, etc. Again, this is another thing I'm passionate about. We all know the issues of censorship that have been going on, of the political biases, and I'm not even a political person, and this isn't even a political issue. Whether you even agree with these guys politically or not, this is an issue of free speech, right? And if you support free speech, then this is an issue you should care about. And this is also an issue that once we have decentralized social media problems, we will not have the problems with these, you know, centralized censorship political bias that we currently see. You know, the main problem with that, by the way, is the fact that most of these tech companies were started up in San Francisco, which is a very, very liberal leaning place. Poor countries with corrupt governance, uh, governments will benefit the most from this, right? So think countries like Argentina, Venezuela, Zimbabwe, countries where the government has just hyperinflated their money supply to where their money's completely worthless. Those are the countries who are going to benefit most and in fact are already benefiting the most. We already do see, you know, in EOS Venezuela and we see in Venezuela a lot of people are opting to use digital uh, cryptocurrencies over their own currencies because their own currency isn't worth anything. You know, their centralized corrupt government has completely screwed everything up. <clears throat> so if you truly care about the poor guys, if you truly care about free speech, if you truly care about, you know, your political, uh, your, your political views, this is one way you can actually make a difference apart from just virtue signaling about it. So this should excite you. 
All right, so here are some resources for beginners. So if you are a beginner, if you're just now, you know, getting involved in EOS, if you just watch this video and you're interested in learning more, here are some great resources I've selected for you. So uh, I put Cypherglass here. He's an EOS block producer, and we'll get into what a block producer is in the intermediate section coming up. He's a block producer, and he makes a lot of videos that not only uh, are, you know, keep you up to date on all the EOS related content, but also provide good news, good content, and he just delivers everything and he's so passionate about it so uh it's a great resource to check out uh, i also put crypto tim again you know one of my good friends uh, i started an eos gamers channel with him and he has a lot of great content and it's just a funny character in general so uh definitely check it out i love his enthusiasm i also put ivan on tech here he's probably the biggest youtuber out of all the ones i put on this list and he does more general cryptocurrency content, but he has a lot of videos about EOS as well. So uh, I definitely recommend you check out all his videos on EOS. Uh, he's, a, he's a programmer, a developer who turned into a YouTuber and does a great job explaining cryptocurrencies from the developer side of things. Uh, Dallas Rushing is another great one. So um, actually, this was the guy who I watched and was inspired to make my own channel about and uh, big congratulations to him because he recently started his own company, his own dApp called Karma that's built on EOS and it's pretty successful so far. So check out his channel too. EOS Apologist is another great one, guys. Uh, I'll link him in the description as well. Uh, he just does a great job hyping EOS and opening your mind to all the possibilities of it. And you just get the goosebumps when you watch his videos. Uh, and also finally, I've put EOS, the EOS communities on Reddit, Facebook, and Telegram. So we have a great community guys this is one thing i love about us is unlike the general cryptocurrency community unlike so many other cult-like communities we are very supportive we are very helpful if you have any questions you know people there in general will always be helpful always be happy to answer them all right so uh now that we're done with uh the beginner section and hopefully you've learned something perhaps now you could consider yourself an intermediate so if you are an intermediate, you know, if and, you know, to define intermediate, I guess I would say this is somebody who knows a decent amount about blockchain, but maybe not so much about EOS uh, in, in particular. So if you consider yourself an intermediate, this is what I think, uh, this is what I would suggest for you to learn. All right. So uh, the first thing I would say is to learn the differences between EOS, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Right. So you know what a blockchain is, you know how cryptocurrency works and you know what decentralization means. But what are the differences between the individual cryptocurrencies? Because they're big and how big they are. Well, there is a reason that EOS can process 4000 transactions per second, while Ethereum can only do about 15 and Bitcoin can only do about seven. Right. And it's important to learn why EOS is so much faster, cheaper, and more efficient than the other ones. And this ties into my second point, which is to learn what DPoS or delegated proof of stake is and how it differs from proof of work or proof of stake. So uh, delegated proof of stake is the consensus mechanism invented by Dan Larimer, the created, uh, creator of EOS. It is what allows EOS to scale up to 4,000 transactions per second and have zero transaction fees while Bitcoin and Ethereum are stuck doing seven to 15. Uh, after that, I would say you're ready to create an EOS account. So, you know, EOS links is a great resource for that. You can create an account for just 99 cents and you can then learn to stake, unstake, send tokens and vote. So just the basics guys, uh, you know, you don't need to go crazy using dApps just yet, but learn the basics, you know, of just how to send tokens, how to stake, unstake, so on and so forth. And then finally, I would say to just keep up with all the latest apps and a great resource for that is DAP Radar. Um, the reason I say you should keep up with all the latest apps is because very often you may see one that you want to try out. You may see one that you like. And by doing so, you'll really get to actually interact with the EOS blockchain and actually use it, not just buy it and hope the price goes up. So resources for intermediates. Uh, Colin talks crypto. I didn't include him in the beginner section just because in my opinion, he talks about more nuanced news related items that are more current and up to date. And it may be a little overwhelming if you're a beginner, but if you're an intermediate and you already, you know, have a decent understanding, he's a great resource to just keep up with all the latest developments. Uh, I would say at this point, look for some smaller EOS telegram groups. So, you know, rather than just joining the, you know, the big one, 
the the main one you know there's all kinds of niches you know so find your niche you know whether you're a developer whether you want to be a content creator like me even whether you just want to play eos games there is a telegram group out there for all of those so find you know the niche ones uh find the ones that apply to you and join them participate uh ivan on tech again um not only he's great for beginners but for intermediates too he does a great job in uh explaining everything from the technological standpoint <laughs> Dap radar, um, Dap radar is what I use to keep track of all the latest apps. And what it does, it shows you the daily active users, the transactions, the volume. And the reason this is important is because if you randomly see a Dap that randomly, you know, shot up to like a thousand users overnight, which happens sometimes, it's worth looking into. You know, what is this Dap, and why are so many people using it? Steemit is a great resource for intermediates. So the other you know, blockchain project that Dan Larimer created. Uh, they have a section dedicated to EOS with a lot of great writers there. So definitely check that out as well. And finally, I would say if you're an intermediate, roll with EOS Costa Rica. They have, um, <clears throat> this guy just does a lot of great interviews with a lot of prominent figures in the EOS community from developers to block producers to you name it. So it's a great resource to, to learn more about EOS. Okay, experts now. All right, so if you consider yourself an expert and whether you're looking to build your own DAP on it or you just want to uh, you know, spread the word about it, whatever the case may be, um, this is what I would suggest uh, you do. And this is what I'm trying to do as well. So the first thing I would say is don't look at the price. Now, this isn't financial advice. And by this, I don't mean to just blindly put your life savings into it and not look at the price and hope for the best. <clears throat> no, not at all. What I'm saying is the typical rule of investing always follows, you know, never invest more than you can afford to lose. But after you've invested a reasonable amount that you can't afford to lose, then don't look at the price anymore. Just don't do it, especially in this market, because it doesn't matter in the long run. And it's not going to be sustainable for, you know, it, it's not very, uh, we'll say it's not rational, right? Sometimes the price goes up for no reason. Sometimes it goes down for no reason. It's not reflective of the value at all at this stage. The goal should be to be building adoption, right? We need to focus more on adoption than price. And the way we can do that is just to spread the word, you know, tell our friends, our family members, you know, show your friends this video. You know, if you have friends or family who you want to, you know, introduce to you, show them this video, show them the beginner section of it. I would say at this point, you can learn to use the EOS block producer tools. So tools like EOS Authority, EOS Toolkit.io, things like this are all great. And I would say at this point to learn the coding side of things. So uh, even if you're not a developer, you know, I'm not a developer, but I at least understand the basic principles that, for example, on EOS, you can code in C++, whereas with Ethereum and Cardano, you have to learn their particular programming language. So at least know the basics of that. Know about Elemental Battles. You know, that's a great website, a uh, great tool put out by Block One, who's the creator of EOS, that um, uh, is a game and also a tool for developers to learn how to code on EOS. And the reason I think this is so important to know is even if you're not a developer, you may have friends who are good developers and you may run into good developers <coughs> who could be the future of EOS. Uh, developers are really going to be the backbone of our ecosystem because we need the best developers to create the killer dApps that are ultimately going to take us to mass adoption. So whether you're a developer yourself or not, I'm definitely not, you know, educate yourself enough so that you can help the best developers get involved. Then I would say you should take initiative to spread the word and grow the EOS ecosystem. The beautiful thing about decentralized social media or decentralized cryptocurrency or any decentralized community is that we have complete power, but to quote Spider-Man here, this makes us completely responsible as well. All right, this is gonna go as far as we take it. If we want mass adoption, if we want to see a long-term sustainable return on our investment, it is our responsibility uh, responsibility as a community to go out there, spread the word, tell our friends about it, get people involved. Mass adoption doesn't just happen. We have to take, we have to be proactive in making it happen. And the way we could do that is, you know, <clears throat> tell your friends, as I said, you can even start your own YouTube channel, you know, much, much like how I'm doing. There's many, many different ways you could do it, but just participate, find a way to do it, right? You know, we don't, we don't want to use Facebook, right? We don't want <clears throat> these centralized social media platforms anymore. But the advantages they have is they have their own company that's going to promote it, that's going to make it, uh, 
you know, make it as big as it can be. You know, for us, it's our responsibility as a community to do that. That's the benefits, but also the responsibility of being having complete control. Finally, I would say learn to use all the dApps. So after you now know all the dApps, now it's time to learn to use them. And, you know, you can do that by downloading Scatter and interacting with the EOS blockchain. Um, I've put plenty of tutorials out there about this. Uh, other YouTubers have as well. So I'll link as many of them as I can. And the reason I say to learn to use all the dApps is because even if you might not be interested in a dApp, maybe someone you know, maybe. And if you know how to use the dApp already, even if you don't use it, you can at least show them how to use it, which then guess what? They're going to know how to use it. They're going to show their friends who are going to be interested. And over the long term, we're going to get the mass adoption that we're all waiting for. All right, so resources for experts here. Uh, Telegram, again, you know, again, the more niche ones. So you can find the more and more niche ones. There are even Telegram groups for almost each individual EOS dApp. So definitely join the ones that you're interested in. Find the ones that you want to participate in and just have a conversation with all the great community members. Uh, Elemental Battles uh, is the one, the resource put out by Block One to assist Block uh potential developers so what it does is it's a both a card game and it also teaches you you know you can play the game just for fun if you want but also if you're a developer and you want to learn more about how to develop on eos it's a step-by-step -step guide that teaches you how to code on eos using a fun and interactive tool of just having you program a game on the, on the fly and uh, all you need, you know, you don't even need to be an expert. You just need some basic knowledge in C++ and you're ready to get started. Uh, Scatter now is something you should definitely start using if you're an expert. You know, you need to download Scatter and you need to learn how to use it to connect to the dApps and interact with the dApps. Uh, EOS Toolkit uh, also. So this is the primary toolkit you want to uh, use for air grabs and airdrops. So, you know, many uh, projects are building free... Um, are f giving free airdrops to EOS token holders, but you can only receive them if you claim them first on eostoolkit.io. So be sure you check that out and familiarize yourself with that. All things EOS, uh, self-explanatory, allthingseos.com, keeps you up to date on all things EOS. And again, as always, DAP Radar for all the latest dApps and users. So <clears throat> uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking with me through the whole entire video. If you still made it here, I know it was a long one, but I really wanted to really hammer it home and make this for you guys so we can just explain and just get this show on the road. Uh, we're really ready for mass adoption right now. We're scaling well enough and <clears throat> uh, it's just up to us as a community at this point to get as many people involved as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and comments. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We have a lot more similar content coming out soon and I will see you all in the next video.